In May of 2008, for the first time ever, we gathered all of the registered Google Lunar X Prize teams and experts and students and admirers from all around the world for the first ever Google Lunar X Prize Team Summit. Congregating for two days on the campus of the International Space University in Strasbourg, France, uh, this was really four or five meetings all wrapped up into one. One of the chief purposes was to provide an opportunity for our registered teams to work with XPRIZE Foundation staff, to, with representatives of Google, and with some of the members of our Rules Advisory Committee to really discuss the rules in line-by-line -line detail, to ask questions, to probe the rules, to see what the intention behind them was, to point out areas where they might be vague or even inaccurate, to make sure that the final Google Lunar X Prize rule set is really as complete and correct and accurate as possible. Being here, seeing the other team, seeing the energy, seeing the students today too, seeing the student presentations was fantastic. This real energy, real focus, and uh, yeah, it's great to think when you're sitting there, someone in that room, we all think it's us of course, someone in that room will be going back to the moon. There's a lot of positivity that even though everyone's competing for this prize, it's not just about the prize, it's about the learning, it's about coming together, and it's about building education and unifying the whole world and to get promoting STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. We had students from six different university teams all competing in a one-day competition trying to win the Google NRX Prize on paper. Uh, these students coming from the United States, from France, Germany, Italy, and Spain, uh, we're all working to design business plans, to make technical recommendations, to discuss the philosophy, the ethics, and the regulations of a Google Lunar X Prize mission, culminating uh, in a presentation before an expert judging panel uh, who would really grade them on all aspects, a truly interdisciplinary competition. Well, for me, the Google Lunar X Prize is, is the very first beginning of the next steps of uh, going to the moon. And this is where actually uh, young students like me come into, come into the role. This generation of students will be the generation who is going back to the moon after more than 35 years, who will play an important role in setting up lunar bases and going beyond to asteroids and to the Mars. The following day, we got together our teams again, along with members of prospective teams and with government space agency representatives and other fans of the program and potential clients and customers and uh, team members and investors to participate in a, uh, in a symposium of sorts where we had those who are expert in lunar missions who have run successful missions in the past uh, come together to talk about lessons that they've learned, advice that they would give our teams, uh, and business that uh, our teams may find waiting for them after successfully winning the Google Lunar X Prize event. Uh, it was really a wonderful opportunity. It was fantastic to uh, hold an event in Europe, to reach a whole new audience, uh, to see so many students so in interested in this prize, getting really excited and, and really appreciating in the full sense what type of a challenge this is, not just on a technical level, uh, but across disciplines. And then having a chance to sort of show off a little bit for the real teams and maybe even do a, a bit of job auditioning. 